So it's over the final flat race then. This is a mile and a half, and I think we're Epsom this time. And we're going to see all these races again, of course. Don't forget sometime when they've been handicapped. So Puissance Colours for Alex Cherry is the top. Wu Wei Roscoe for Vinnie Gerard. Convitaser Diagnosis Andy Morgan. Kangas Del Narcia. Darren Thompson. Belladonna Joshua Sutherland. Bloodstone Leon Van Rensburg. Huma Dago. Marty Leedham. Abdicate Obi Wan. Stormy Willow. C. Beckwith. Ivan Drago. Paul Rhodes. Danny Angharad for David Robertson. Aspen Ridge. Derek Hinton. Task Analysis Hems. And Perfection Paul O'Neill. Just about got them in then. They're in the stalls and away they go. And they're all out this time as well and sorted themselves out task analysis is looking like the early leader from Belladonna and then Puissance Colours after that one Aspen Ridge also close up but the field is pretty tightly packed at this point and Belladonna on the outside of Puissance Colours are the first two then Aspen Ridge in third trying to turn around Derek Hinton's luck it's not been the best of days for him so far Puissance Colours is the leader though by about half a length to Belladonna second Aspen Ridge third and Ivan Drago fourth then comes Bloodstone and Congas Del Narcia with Convertisa diagnosis after that one and then Danny Angharad so we've got some good names in this again and perfection is just about the back marker as they race towards the mile point then and Puissance Colours and Belladonna continue to dispute the lead from Kangas, Del Narcia, Ivan Drago after that one, Aspen Ridge, then Bloodstone and Danny Alcarad looking towards the back, the back three are Task Analysis, Abdigate and Perfection. And past the seven pole this time then and Puissance Colours by about a neck to Belladonna in second then Aspen Ridge back in third Ivan Drago is fourth then Combatees a diagnosis and Kangas Del Narcia Stormy Willow and Bloodstone Humor Dagar the Grey is beginning to make a little bit of forward progress as well but it's Puissance Colours who's half a length to the good of Belladonna then a gap to Aspen Ridge and Ivan Drago and Congress Del Narcia Stormy Willow Humor Dagar is next then Task Analysis is trying to get going as well looking towards about Wu Wei Roscoe is the back marker now then but there's still plenty in with chances you won't actually rule anything out just yet with four furlongs to go Puissance Colours is gone a good couple of lengths clear now of Belladonna who's under strong pressure then comes Ivan Drago Task Analysis is the one that's looking best of all Stormy Willow is going to need a good split there as well Aspen Ridge is still running on Huma Dagar is also trying to get into it still abdicates the one dropping out of the back but now Belladonna comes back to challenge Puissance Colours again and Task Analysis has suddenly dropped away Congas Del Narcia is now throwing down a big challenge on the outside as they come down towards the final two furlongs and it's Belladonna in the lead now as Puissance Colours drops away Belladonna now being collared by Congas Del Narcia as they race towards the final furlong it's Congas Del Narcia in the lead from Belladonna then comes Tascalos his Bloodstone is running on but Congas Del Narcia with half a furlong to go is a good length and a half up and looks like he's going to take this one up towards the line Congas Del Narcia tied up in the shadow of the post and Belladonna one last swoop but not quite enough Congress Del Narcia takes it, Belladonna was second, Abdigate was the one that finished last, but it would, would look like Belladonna might just get him back up, the task analysis was third, Congress Del Narcia the winner, big prices there, and poor old Derek dropped out towards the back again, let's take a look at the connections for this one. As Kangas Del Narcia for Darren Thompson takes the final flat trial. Belladonna for Joshua Sutherland is second. Task analysis for Hems was third. Perfection for Paul O'Neill, fourth. So he's had a good day. And Bloodstone for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth. So we'll get to see all these races again when they get handicapped.